My grandmother's best friend's daughter-in-law gave, somehow gave us a box of clothes and this was in it. And it's so 80s and so neon and I'm probably blinding the entire internet by wearing this, but it is my favourite thing right now. Hello humans! There are just a few things we need to establish before this video gets started. First thing, I am not the most normal person. I'm sure you're all aware of that. My second point, there is a fine line between creepy and cute and caring and considerate and other positive C words. Fine line. It's fine. It's very fine. Third thing is, in my absence of normality, I have often crossed this fine line, so I'm in no way shaming anyone that has done these things because most of these things I have done. So, um, welcome to the reality of me. I don't know what my hands are doing right now. How cute to see my sister draw my hand? It's like a heart with an arrow in it. Because love hurts. So last night, didn't have much to do. I was homesick, I wasn't allowed to go to youth. I'm kind of watching some trailers and I'm like, oh, this one looks good. So I get the movie. Basically, this girl has a crush on this guy and then it kind of turns obsessive. Um, but you don't realize how obsessive until the end. She crosses the line. The aforementioned fine line, she crosses it. Much crossing. Such line breaking. It was, it was frightening. And I'm not gonna really explain much more because if you like psychological thrillers disguised as teenage rom-coms, you might like this movie. I did not. I was texting a friend, so I was in like the last half an hour, 25 minutes of it, and mate, I think she thought I was gonna have a heart attack. I was just, it was caps lock the whole way. This is happening, and then this person's, person A is doing this to person B, and I didn't expect this from person B, and what is occurring right now? I literally cried from relief when it was over. I just, like, collapsed on my bed, and I was like, I, never again. Never again. Oh my goodness, it was, it was intense. But the point of me telling that story was that there was a fine line and she crossed it. So today, in order to help you guys not to cross the fine line, I'm going to be telling you guys things that would definitely be crossing of the line. Let's go. Longest intro ever. Number one is getting something of theirs either from the bin or the floor or somewhere that you know they have left it. I've never done this personally. I mean, not really. A friend of mine and I found a note on the floor in our science classroom one day and it was like just torn from a notebook so someone had dropped their notes from the day and I had this crush on this guy and I was like oh wait he does biology this is the biology classroom it must be his that's that's a little bit creepy that's a, that's a, that's a little bit creepy but going really creepy and crossing the line is then seeing them drop something picking it up and here's where it gets creepy and then keeping it and then if you just want to add like another 10 creepy points, you would like stroke it or sleep with it or like glue it into your diary and be like, oh my goodness, he touched this piece of paper. If you're like dating that person and that he writes you a note or like a letter, that's okay. That's not creepy. Keeping something that he threw in the bin and then like obsessing over it, that, that's creepy. Don't do that. Don't go there. Something else that is quite creepy and I, uh, is like Googling them. But not only just Googling them, Googling them with additional things added onto their name. I am guilty of this because I'm the kind of person that doesn't gossip in real life. I don't like go up to his friends and be like, hey, who does he like? I go through like his tagged Instagram photos and you know, people that have commented on his wall and I Google his name, but not just John Smith. I Google John Smith and the name of his school. John Smith and the sport that he likes to play. John Smith and his Twitter handle. I'm extensive. And that's, that's, that's definitely creepy. That's definitely crossing the line. I regret doing that. That was, that made me feel afraid of myself. I did that like a year ago though. So maybe I've matured. Maybe I've moved on. I would like to think that I've moved on from doing that. Yeah. Now remember before I said there was a line between creepy and then like cute and stuff? Okay, cute is, you know, doodling their name in your notebook and surrounding with a heart and doing little flowers or, you know, doing JS, John Smith, plus BR, Bella Rankin, forever, 
That's, that's nice. What would be creepy is having like a whole Sherlock Holmes style wall. Having like a pin board of articles about them or photos that you've printed out. Connecting them with string. It's cute if you're doing it for a country or for like if you're actually a detective and you're working out a case. That's fine. If you're doing it because you're obsessed with the guy, look, you probably have issues. I'm not saying you're a psychopath. I'm saying you could end up there. See the line? Between being one and possibly being one, there's a line. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah guys, that is this video. I kind of creep myself out a little bit because in basically everything I said, I saw aspects of myself and I was like, Bella, you have issues. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. Just have cats. Don't have crushes, have cats. Cats before crushes. Then all this will go away. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I promise not all my videos are this odd, but a lot of them are. I love you guys and goodbye. My dad came back from Manila today because he like does work trips over there and he got me this shirt. And it's got a little Thor on it. And he also got me this one. It says, I miss Uncle Ben.